everybody. Back Pixie Back with another video. And this video is a review of the movie I just saw called um Freddy. And I thought this was a very interesting um AI technology video. And for the most part, what I got from the video is that this little machine called Freddy, it's a machine that senses danger similar to the movie I saw, Lost in Space, where this big old like 10 foot, um, um, this 10 foot computer man senses he was protecting the little boy named Will Robinson. I'll probably do a video on that but I hadn't done that one yet but I looked at I, I watched that one earlier before um um Reason Dion. But anyway what I got from this movie is that um the movie is about AI and we know for the next thirty years um People are going to become like cyborgs, and cyborgs are, um, from what I see, I watched the movie Cyborgs, I can understand exactly what a cyborg is. So basically a cyborg is a human computer. And when I watched the other movie, um, and I watched the cyborg movie. In the movie, the um, these people from all over the world, they all had these um, abilities, and they would basically, you know, go out protecting the world from different things. And you know, when you have the heroes protecting the world, you got these um, dark powers. That's gonna make them look like they harm the world, you know, so they won't be doing good things or whatever. But anyway, this movie called Freddy. It's a little oval um computer and the um eyes come up the little it's like a little oval and then it got like a little um I guess rectangle with a little red eyes and whatever and it speaks it's a very soft female voice and it senses danger and when it senses danger it protects the person that is in danger such as the boy here on this picture I forgot his name but anyway you know when you're in school, they have they always have the villain called the bullies that chases and attacks and just bullies and beat up whatever who um beat up the um I guess the good guy or beat up the geek or whatever. So he has the little computer in his back bag. He found it with this lady, Doctor Palmer. Um, she took it and hid it, and he, because they saw her running from the bad guys and whatever, she hid it. And as children that see stuff, she went out there looking, see what in the world uh, was going on, and he found the little computer in her bag where she said it would be safe. But he found it and took it home. And then, you know, find out what it was, and his little friend took him over there, and they see that basically the computer is a protector and so what the code i'm getting from this movie called freddy is that the little um computer called freddy this ai artificial intelligence which um 30 years from now ai is supposed to surpass human intelligence and the ai is going to be like 
the God that everybody looks up to. Everybody looks up to the God, look up to the sky for God to protect them from all danger. So that is what I see in decoding that this um Freddy AI computer is. And the boy's report, he was doing this report on AI. But for some reason, he couldn't really finish because, because you know, when you're doing that kind of instance of what you fall asleep. I know because I fell asleep trying to get out my eye, out, out, basically my eyesight went trying to pass computer classes. But I managed to pass my computer classes and graduate but, um, in computer technology. So, the AI, the little Freddy computer we see here. Uh, in his back stack and they're running from the guy that I uh, want to take it and use it as a weapon use it as a weapon more so than use it at, use it to protect mankind but the lady Dr. Palmer she created it to protect people but the guy she worked for wanted it to be used as a weapon a war and we know that um people their conscious is um is ascendant and they're beginning to get to the point where mankind humankind no longer wants war so it's all about protecting people but my thing is the AI is the little Freddy. It's the AI of the future that people are going to look up to. It's going to be there to protect them. Like It's going to replace religion. Right now, religion, people get to focus on a God in a heaven that's going to come down protect take care of them you know make sure they out of them you don't got to do nothing for themselves they just go live their life and you rely on god and he make everything right and whatever we see in this world right here a lot of people depending on god a lot of people having a whole lot of problems and their situations are not getting better because we are a part of god and therefore, because we are a part of God, the God that created um, mankind according to religion, we, because we are a part of God, we ourselves can create our own protection. We can create, uh, we can um, create our own human experience on this earth. Um, we can manifest whatever we want because we are a part of God. Like I say, um, and I gave this um, the knowledge to my um, son when I was explaining God. And I told him, I said, think about it this way. But he was saying, well, God this and God that. I, and I was saying, well, you know, we are all, we all and I mentioned this according to the scriptures that um, it says that our bodies is the temple of God. God is in us. So according to the scriptures, now, and I said, and because our bodies is God's temple, we are a piece of God. God is in us. I said, think about a fire, a blazing fire. And you see, and the fire is beautiful, it's burning, and you see all of these sparks that pop, 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 pop. If you've seen any good uh, wood burning outdoor fire, you can see the different sparks that's going everywhere. It's, to me, it's a beautiful sight. And you see the, you see these little red sparks going everywhere. And I said, and though the sparks are going everywhere and landing, I say, each spark is the fire. Even though there's a whole lot of sparks going everywhere, 
each individual spark is still the fire. You're still a part of the fire. And I said, and that's how we are. There's God, the creator. And then God, the creator, a spark from him is in us. Therefore, because that spark is in us, we too can create our own desires, manifest our own desires. We are creators. We create the life that we want to live. If you're poor, you got free choice to live your human experience how you want to live it. But with this particular movie here, Freddy, this Freddy, this AI, is going to replace the God that everybody look up to that's actually not up in the heavens, but it's actually in you. So instead of humans, beings, looking within themselves at the God that is in them, they look outside of themselves, forget the God that is in them, or don't know that he's there, he she is there, and looking at this AI, Freddy, to protect them from all harm. And you can go to um, Netflix and look up this movie. It's a very good movie. But the code I see in this movie is basically the Freddy, the AI, is to replace the God that everybody is looking up in the heaven to. So everybody going to be looking to a computer or artificial intelligent computer. It says artificial because it's outside of the intelligent God that is in all of us. The spark of God that is in all of us. So, that's my um, review of the movie Freddy on Netflix. It was uh, it, the movie is not like seasonal. The movie was I think the movie is let me kind of go back a little bit. See if I can even go back to, and see what it was. The movie okay that's Raven Dion. Oh I didn't ask you to do anything. I just need you to go back but anyway let me go to see what it was. I just saw it. So it should still, I, I, sh I guess I shouldn't make it. I should make it a part of, I should make it a part of my list. That way I can easily go to it. Because I don't even know if I, um, actually, I don't know if I, um, I don't know if I made it a part of my list that I could, you know, see more of it. So, um, okay, I'm trying to find it on Netflix. I just saw it, so. Mm, Is this where it happened? Okay, let me find it. It's um, called, um, Yo Freddy. Okay, that's not cut off little picture. It's called Freddy, okay. Where do I have it? I just saw it. You see, continue watching. Since I just finished watching it, it's not going to be on the continue watching. So, but... Okay, come on. Where are you? No releases. Okay. Still looking. Okay. Let me go all the way back. Cause mm, not trying to do all of that. But anyway, um, I basically wanted. I'm looking it up. 
so I can see see video is suspenseful drama so I can tell you how long the video is. the video is not very long it's an hour and something long it's basically it's an hour and something long but right now I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing it in here but anyway let me go home let me click on home I'm not trying to see all of that but anyway but anyway the movie is only like an hour and something long and you can go on Netflix you can watch it this is it is, it's a pretty good movie I kind of I kind of enjoyed it but anyway that's it for this video and I will see you on the next video. Bye.